This week, uh, after a dreadful session on a previous session on the Thames, uh, I'm heading off to the Bristol Avon to try and uh, yeah, make amends, target the chub uh, on lure from the kayak. If you enjoy my vids, uh, please subscribe. And to those of you, those of you that already have, uh, thanks very much. And my aim is to try and find some chub on my local river. I'm going to use these little crayfish. See how it's hooked on. It floats down very slowly. Um, yeah, hoping to get chub. Then if I manage that, um, it'd be nice to get a perch, maybe a pike too. Oh, there we go. That is a wasp, apparently. I always thought it was called a perch. No, it's a wasp. So I kind of just had to <laughs> if I land it, that is. Two species that I wasn't going for, but not the species that I am going for, though I did have a follow from one chub. Maybe I forgot to take the barb off. That's flattened barb. The summer pike. Jack. Let's get back quick. That seemed a little bit aggressive the way I put him back. The idea is that it flushes a load of water in the gills and just gets that oxygen going. But good fun. A bit of a compromise on these um, crayfish. I've got a very light weighted hook on so that they can stay up on the surface if there's any chub up high. That means you don't quite get the right action if you want to trundle it along that bottom at any speed. I switched to a lighter crayfish pattern but it's still not working uh, so I switched to crankbaits. Hand this one out I think. Voila! Is that chub? More like a chublet. Pristine condition though. Lovely bronze colour. Look at the size of that mouth for such a small fish. I do love chub. It's daft really, you can travel all around the country to different fishing spots and I've got this on my doorstep. <laughs> Probably because I'm guilty of being one of these glory hunters that has that dream of catching a chub, you know, in that six pound plus fish. And that's more likely to happen elsewhere, to be honest. Yeah, these fish are going pretty nuts for this lure, but Unfortunately, so are the tiny ones. So every now and again, my feet slip off and thump the hull. That must put every fish off a square mile. Oh, not that one though. Ah, oh, he came off. That was a really good fish. But he turned with the lure, swam away with the lure in his mouth, and I couldn't keep up with him. That was easy, you know, sort of three, four pounds, maybe bigger. Too busy talking to the camera, not busy enough. Sorting out my, uh, yeah, it's a fish on. Tiny, I think. Oh, it's off and it wasn't tiny. Very gentle bites. It's two good chub now that I've hooked and lost. I was talking to a guy on Facebook. We were saying there's less chub in here now, but they all seem a lot bigger. Well, I can't find them. <laughs> all I seem to do is find the small ones. And his theory was that the bigger fish just get a bit more lazy, don't chase crankbaits, and are munching on these crayfish that are in here now. He's had them coughing up. Savage take and off again. How do they do that? Oh man. 
it's quite typical of chub. They'll, they'll home in on the plop rather than the actual lure travelling through the water. That's a fish. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, lovely. Actually, it's still on the surface. That's what I was about to chop fish. Best of all, I caught it with my line caught on a tree. Oh no! Very lucky to get that back. He's off. You f ah, he's off. No, it's not. That's great, this one's got a bit of a scar on him actually, makes you wonder whether he's been followed by otters. There's a terrible scar on his flank here, but he's survived. That big scar there, the other side's lovely. And he gave me a lovely scrap. Such powerful little fish. And away. Hi there. Hi. It's funny, you think with you guys swimming around it would scare all the fish yeah, off? I'm sorry. Not at all. I just had a fish put on the lure just then. Yeah. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at the colour. Oh, what, the lure? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's to attract anglers, though, not fish. Uh, so make us part <laughs> with our money. <laughs> One might come into contact with me. <laughs> I shouldn't worry, there's not many pike in this bit. Oh, let's hope not. <laughs> it's a better fish. Yeah. Wicked. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Even with all these swimmers. 2.5 kilos. Old chub. Shame about the otter tail. He's definitely uh, had a bit of a standoff with an otter. Let's get back. And away. Wicked.